Welcome, welcome to Northern Nevada's clubbing scene. I'm your host, Lauren the Party Animal. And I'm Clarissa, and we're the biggest little city club experts. To start, look at your options. There are places to dance, like 210. There's places to hang out. There's also places we'd rather you not go. But there are four types of clubbers you're going to want to avoid. First, there's the wannabe clubber. Now, the wannabe clubber may look innocent at first. Look at that cute little grin. Check out her nice little eyes. But beware of wannabe clubber. Do you want to find my cookies? They're so good. That innocent face doesn't always look like that. Check her out during the nighttime. As DJ Miller says, a DJ for Nikki Beach and All City, you can't really tell who's young and who's not. Especially when people go out and get all dressed up with all that makeup. What's your side? Wannabe Clever will use all types of fake IDs to get in through the bouncers. Some are obviously more believable than others. Then there's the Constant Clubber. According to Samantha Sweeney, a waitress at Imperial, the Constant Clubber will always wear a skanky top and skanky skirt with tacky boots and teased hair. She has a bunch of stamps to show how many times she's been out in a week. I mean, it's freezing. She should be wearing a coat, like a hat or something, like a scarf, but I mean, she'd rather freeze her ass off. It's 30 degrees out. Then there's the bro. According to Jen Delano, a local bartender, the bros, you gotta look out for them. They wear popped collars. They always have a mohawk. I mean, they only drink Coronas. Hold the line, please. Um, they wear hats. They wear their sunglasses inside. I mean, they're just tools. Not to be outdone, there's the creepy downtown clubber. According to Sarah Corder, a local bartender, he usually wears a buttoned-out shirt, half-buttoned. Kind of creepy if you ask me, but he likes to show off those nicely sculpted pecs he's been working on, covered in hair, I might add. He also wears gold chains, kind of gross. He gets a little hot when he's uh, clubbing. He's also been known to wear a sweet bowler hat. Not that sweet if you ask me. Or wear a bird on his shoulder. Want to feed Polly a cracker? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Last but not least, DJ Miller says there's those cougars. Creepy women who can be just as creepy as guys. I have been partying since the 60s, but I still caught it. Wow. But no matter who you run into, the night's always gonna end the same. Awful, awful, anybody? Oh. I've been working all day.